Board members and management of First Bank PLC, public office holders, policymakers, and industrialists attend the bank's 125th anniversary lecture. Institutional impact on economic growth and improved living standards is the theme of the day. <laughs> Professor of Economics, Darren Asemoglu, is the guest speaker. Entrepreneurship, consumer credit, access to resources for everybody. That is the heart of some of the problems that West Africa and Africa in general will have to solve. If Amnesty International, if Transparency International says there is corruption here, don't dismiss it, take it all to heart. Because to deal with corruption is very, is very essential to build that trust. Build that trust, build that expertise, then you can start collecting more taxes, using them in the right expertise, and investing in health and education for high quality growth. On the other side of the lecture is a plenary session. Panelists identify ways of promoting global interdependency to enhance growth in Nigeria and in Africa. The first area is in trade, as international trade, then the in goods and services. The second area is in international financial capital flows and then international mobility of labor. We're not averse to FDIs coming in. But we would prefer to have real investments coming into the country. So whatever we need to do in terms of policy, we will do. We need to see people investing in their own country. And so the more and more we see that, the more and more we have more confidence that international funds in a country will be able to stay the course, will be able to have the desired impact. How does the theme of the lecture relate to what First Bank stands for? In our DNA is our ability to transform, innovate, disrupt, be part of disruption and lead disruption. As the bank moves to the next generation of leaders, there is need for it to build stronger institutions in Nigeria to remain truly the first.